Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers. I'm the Radio Man 3 and it is awesome to have you along. We're getting started on the bakery today. Uh, I have been at this for about three hours on my own right now. Uh, I guess when you ask me if I've got any free time, the free time I have is just before I start recording. And uh, I've been working on getting something put together for what is going to be the bakery. Okay, so I've got this little bit of a building here now. I've made a mistake here, a, a big mistake, and I'll talk about it here and show you what I, what I, what I think was a big mistake for me. Um, I, I, I started digging. Remember I say to always dig a little bit and then take off the rest later? Well, I started digging away at this, and, well, the first mistake I made was this right here. This is supposed to start two blocks back. This walkway is supposed to be too wide, like it is right here. You can see it's too wide all the way down through here, this street. And this one is now down to about one wide, because this building should have gone back one more block. And I miscalculated that, and of course I didn't catch it, because now we've got two buildings sitting here. So, the rest of this walkway is going to be kind of uh, an interesting different array of... Uh, passageways to get down this sidewalk and to the businesses that are here. So this is going to be the bakery. It's uh, one, two, three, f I think it's four blocks long. Is it five blocks long? One, two, three, four. Looks like it's about five blocks long right here. I have a trap door right here so that we can get downstairs into this lower area here. This is going to be the street front area, okay? And this is where deliveries of the grains will come in. They'll come in this way and go through this door and uh, they'll be stored in the lower area of this bakery. Along here what I want to do, and I've, I've, st I've still got something I've got to show you as well. I won't, I won't forget to do that. I thought it might be kind of fun to have this set up uh, Z. Here we go. There we go. Like so. And Z. There we go. Perfect. Uh... I thought it'd be kind of cool if we did something like this, these little arches, and this is going to help. This is not only going to be part of the bakery, but it's also part of the walkway. So you've got this little bit of a causeway in front of this one shop that the shop is built on top of that you kind of walk through to get to the next location. And that's as far as we're going to go with that right there. So now we can, you know, a, a shopper would walk through here past the bakery and then down here, and here we'll have our next shop right here. Now what I did wrong, and I hope you guys can see okay, is I started digging away at this mountainside. <sighs> like the dwarves in Lord of the Rings, I dug too far and I dug too deep. And once I did that, there was no turning back. Yes, I can put dirt back, but the dirt for me just doesn't go back the way it's supposed to look. You know how smooth it is and nice how this contour looks? It just doesn't go back into that kind of a shape. So what I decided to do was plan B, is I'm going to go ahead and clear out a chunk of this land, and we're going to put our stores right here. So our next storefront will probably go right along here, uh, just before, it'll, it'll consume this area right here, just before the sidewalk kind of starts to turn. And then we're going to have a couple of houses over here, at least that's what we've discussed, two houses over here, and a little bit of a farm area right down here. Uh, so that's kind of the idea right there. But for the meantime, this is you can kind of walk through here and you hit the bakery. Okay. Now we're gonna have another alleyway right here, a little alley between these two buildings. Okay. And we have our alleyway right here, and we have an alleyway in the back now as well. So we've almost got a third complete street right here, almost. But this is more of an alley. So the front door for this place right here is actually gonna go. We don't need that one anymore. Matter of fact, we don't need the stone and we don't need the big boy block anymore. We need our door, we need our wall, and we need our window. And we're probably gonna need the flooring as well at some point in time today. Anything else I see here that I think I want? You know what I wouldn't mind doing is I wouldn't mind having a stone entrance way, a stone door entrance instead of a wood one. Uh, we'll try that out. Thing is, is that this block is thicker than this block right here. So they've got a different thickness, and sometimes it looks a little weird, sometimes it doesn't, you know? So we'll, we'll, we'll try that out, but I wouldn't mind breaking it up a little bit and having a little bit of a stone, uh, storefront on there. Um, anything else I could think of? No, I think that's, I think that's about it. So let's get our door kind of figured out, uh, and we're gonna go this route. Now the one thing, let me show you something else I did before I, I forget to talk about it is in the end, we forgot to put a flat wall up against the big boy block. This is our foundation for our building. Uh, we didn't do that on the last one. Remember, it crumbled. That was the first building we had crumble down this corner right here where that staircase comes in from the bar, the tavern, up into the second floor here. 
So I did put that in all the way around and we've got a nice little trap door right here. So we've got a little more floor space up here as we're walking around in the building. Uh, let's go with the door front, the storefront door. Oh, that's the window. It's not going to do me any good at all. I can have it on the corner or I can have it right at the top of the stairs. Let's do right at the top of the stairs. Like so. Yeah, and then let's put a window right here. Uh, yes, and then we're going to use one of uh, StoryPass Production's shutters for the inside of the window here. Like so. There we go. And then we're going to use a solid wall on this side. And let's give that a spin with Y. There we go. Yeah, like so. Yeah, that's going to work. We don't have any more timber chopped up, but we have plenty of logs, so we should be able to get through the majority of this build today. It's not going to be a huge build, uh, so we should be able to get quite a bit of it done. Uh, let's go ahead and finish out what we're doing here. Uh, we don't want people looking in. Is that going to be the right direction? Uh, no, it's not. Let's try that again. Flip it. Flip it. And flip it. There we go. Like so. Yeah. Do we need a door on this side of the building? I don't think we do. This is the alleyway. You don't want people coming in from all different directions. So we've got a door right here. That's that's going to work for me. Let's go number six again. I'm going to spin that around. And I think we have to rotate it. Yes, we do. And we're going to do this over here. And we're going to rotate this one as well. Yeah, and then we want a window, and again, we'll go with that uh, flush shutter right there. Uh-huh, okay. Now, this is going to lean out a little bit over the, over the street, which I like. Part of it's going to be hanging out over the street, and I love that. Uh, let's go ahead and do a solid wall right there, and then another solid wall right here. Hmm... That one should actually go right there like that. And then let's take this one out. And I guess we've got room for two windows right here. These ones, we can do the shuttered ones. Yeah, the shuttered windows. So we're going to need a few metal parts for that. Let's go get the timber we need and the metal parts. And then we'll come back up and we'll hammer that together and see how it's looking. Uh, nothing too fancy with the building, I don't think. It's, it's going to be the bakery, though. We'll be able to, uh, you know, put our, uh, our foods in there. Uh, is that, you know, we might as well craft up two of those and get a bunch of those in there. Okay, that's going to work for me right there. Uh, we're going to need some sticks and some timber. I talked about a stone door on there. I think I'm not going to go with it. Yeah, I, I, what it is, I just don't like the way it looks on the inside too much. We've done it in the past. It, it works out all right. I mean, it works out just fine, but I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to stick with the wood. Uh, I wanted some stone showing on there, and I think if we come over here and look... It does have some stone right there. Now, this building is going to be a little bit shorter than uh, the one next to it. We're going to keep this one kind of low. Uh, it's going to be able to, you're going to be able to see it from the front, the street front up the alleyway here, the causeway between the inn and the apothecary, but you're not going to really be able to see it too well from the skyline. Uh, but it's still going to fit in. So if we come right down here and look, uh, yeah, you're going to be able to see the bakery right back in there. You're going to see a nice wall with a roof and stuff on it. That's going to fit in really well up there, I think. You know, you want a little mystery, right? You don't want it all visible. A little bit of mystery. What's back there? Oh, well, let's go back on that street and we'll take a look and see. And we need some logs. Let's grab all that we can and we'll go to our inventory and let's uh, shift, double click on that. That should give us 10 of those. And we might be able to grab a couple more of these just to have on hand. There we go, like so. Let's do that. Uh, can I stop, top off my sticks? Yeah. Um, do we have any more just branches? Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's going to do that. That's going to work out great. Uh, one barbarian today came down and attacked me. The rest of them were up on the rooftop of the main building. And I actually shot them from down here on the street with a crossbow and killed them both. Uh, I didn't go up and grab their stuff. Kind of unusual for me not to do that, but... I was, uh, I was busy. I mean, it took a long time to move all this dirt. If you think about this, this mountain came way out here and went all the way up to here. So this was all dirt that I took out all the way across here. 
it was a lot. This chest is full, uh, that chest is full, and we've got dirt over in areas where we're not supposed to have dirt at all. I've just been dumping it. Uh, let's go ahead and get these windows taken care of first. Get the metal parts out of our inventory. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It's my Monday. I want to remind you that as of this coming Friday, the 27th of October, I will be on vacation for a week, so I won't have any videos going up. Uh, but when I get back from vacation, which will be, I think it's November 3rd or 4th, somewhere in there, I'll be able to, uh, you know, we'll resume. We'll resume with the Morningstar Pass. I'm hoping the update doesn't come out while I'm on vacation. God, I hope it doesn't. Otherwise, I'm going to be way behind the eight ball on that, and that, that just kind of sucks. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, update, right? Soon and huge. Soon and huge. We've talked about that numerous times. Maybe we should have one window on the alley. What do you guys think? Let me know if you think that. We can always come back and, and knock one of these out and put it in. But what I think I want to do... Uh, let's see. When I open this door, I see like that, huh? Hmm. I was just thinking to myself that uh, a decent place for the staircase that's going to go up onto the next floor would probably be right about here. But there's a window there. This way, you see, if this is closed, which it will be most of the time, you'll be able to get up upstairs. And the stairs are down on the back of the shop. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, um, oh, these, these stairs, it's so funny. I think you put them together almost 50%. There we go. And let's take this out of here. Which way is this going? Which one is, which way is this one going? Okay, so I need... I need to go... Yes. Uh, and then... Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> okay, this is going to screw everything up, I think. Let's see. Take those out. Number six. You need to rotate one more time. There we go. Okay, let's do this. And we'll put a window on the alley side. We'll keep this area blocked off and we'll have windows on the next floor. Now, this is the shop area. Okay, this is the storefront. That's what this one is right here, storefront area. Let's knock this one into place as well. There we go. And now we could put our stair in right here. Oop, there we go, like so. Nice. I'm, I'm enjoying uh, getting the feel for building smaller structures instead of, you know, these, these massive things that we've been building in the past. It's really kind of fun to come in and uh, tinker with something small that you can get done relatively quickly. Uh, we're going to do flooring here. Here, 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 here. And again, we can't go over there because we've got that staircase right there. And uh, yes, I know I can crouch. Uh, one of you said, just hit C and crouch. I know I can crouch. I don't want to crouch. I don't want to crouch. It's just an extra thing I've got to do, and, and why bother with it? If I don't have to, I don't want to. So I'm not going to crouch. There we go. Now I might be able to jut this out a little bit on this next, well, I don't know if I need even, I don't need another floor after this one. This is it. This is the, as high as the building gets and then we put the roof on it. So we should be able to finish this particular little building today. Yep, I'm short on timbers. I bet I've got some more logs that I do. Okay, beautiful. One, two, three, four. There we go. And there we go. Bingo. All right. Very cool. So the front end is going... Let's go out front and take a look at it. Look at the sun. 
It barely makes it up now. Yeah, that's going to look pretty cool right there. Hmm. <laughs> It's not going to be a very fancy building. That's for sure. I'll sip my coffee here real quick. It is not going to be very fancy. This one needs to go the opposite direction. Number six. I did try to capture a barbarian today. He had no weapon in his hand. I didn't realize it until I'd sliced him with a sword once, and when I dropped him into the pit of doom up there, he uh, he died. Yeah, he died. Okay, so there we go with that. Um, well, I guess we're just putting walls on now. So, and number seven. Number six. Okay, there we go. Spin it. Spin it. Uh, why spin it? And... No, that's wrong. Uh, number six again. I think we should have a window right here. It's going to add a little life to the building as you look down the alleyway here with that shutter open. I think we need that right there. And we could actually do... A window there, a window there. Oh. I need sticks. Okay, all right. Let's go grab some sticks. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a simpler building out here. And then we'll run the roof line opposite of what this is doing. So the roof line is going to start over on that side and come up this way. So the water drips off down into this area here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll run the roof a different direction. And then we got to figure out what we're going to put in there. There was a... There's a big... Um, furnace or uh, a fireplace. I think it's Wolfgar's fireplace. We might try that out. We might try it out today. Oh boy, man. My supplies are running a little bit low, aren't they? Uh, inventory. I'm going to come back down here. Come on, open up. Give, 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 give. There we go. Extra two. There we go. Beautiful. But this is going to give us an out of the building here on the street, which is going to be great. Just fantastic. Yeah, there we go. That's that's not going to be bad at all. It's going to be is it as tall as the other one next door to it. It's actually going to be a little bit shorter. One floor short. Like this has got the extra floor up here, so that's nice. We're going to have a roof line that comes up almost to that roof line, but not quite. So we've got a, a variation in roof line right here. That's going to be good. Uh, and then we were going to do, what did I say, a window right here. And then a number six. And we're going to have to rotate that, I believe. Yep. And rotate. Hmm. That's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to come back here with this. No, we want it the other way. Like that, and let's rotate that one. There we go. And then we're going to have to take this one out. Like so. Six, and we want to go top to bottom on this one. There we go. Uh, maybe a window right here. What do you think? Yeah, 
and number six. So under this number six, we want to go bottom to top. There we go. Perfect. That's the way that was supposed to go. Awesome. Uh, we're going to need... We get, How many metal parts do we have on us right now? That we, can we finish all the windows we have? We have 15. Yeah, it only takes two, so we're good to go. We can finish the windows up. Nice. Okay, beautiful. We might actually get the whole bakery put in, and then you guys can give me some feedback and talk about what it is, uh, what you think. I mean, look at the view from up here. You know, from the from the street, you don't think it's quite as high, but when you get up here and look down at the street, it's a, it's a ways down to the main road coming up to the uh, Morning Star Pass, which is pretty cool. And what kind of roof are we going to put on this guy here? I think maybe a thatch roof. Ooh, maybe the bakery should have a wooden roof, huh? Thatch. That uh, might be a little dangerous with all the the seed and the, the wheat and stuff that we've got in here. Maybe a thatch roof wouldn't be good. A, a wooden roof would be better. I'm thinking about rodents and stuff like that. Oh, we're going to be able to finish this one up. And what we can do in the next episode is get the stuff put in it. We need to put the, the, the grinding, the... the um, was it the grinding stones in here? We need to get some some boxes with the wheat put in here and stuff like that. And then when we need bread, we just run over here and start using this place for the uh, for cooking. Awesome. So now uh, we need food. <laughs> the food is going to be an issue. Uh, let's go G. Let's nope G. Let's go this guy right here. And let's put him. Oop. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go get something to eat. Yeah, let's go get some food. We gotta do a little bit of cooking here. A little bit of cooking. Wow, um, something else, huh? I have had such a f good time with you guys on uh, season three here. I had no idea we were going to build uh, so much stuff together, but uh, we've had a really good time uh, putting this together. That's for sure. Uh, what do we got in here for uh, wheat? Uh, nine. Anything back here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Like this guy right here? He needs to go down there. What's this here? Make apple juice. Oh, apple juice. Rough sand. Oh, I gotcha. Let's do that right there. I think I'm hearing a barbarian outside. We need to get a couple of these guys in there, too. Oh. We need to clear the cache on that one. Let's craft that first. I think Billy Hyde said, Hey, you were uh, you had one more goulash to go there. <laughs> and I did not realize it. We'll eat that right away. There we go. Goulash will fill us up. We'll grab some of the bread. Uh, we're almost out of fuel in here, too. We'll take that with us. And then we'll leave the rest of it in here. It's almost done. Ooh, apple pie. Bread plate. Beans. Oh, man, look at this. Some of the foods we just found, huh? Oh, there's garlic as well. Look at that. Beans, onion, garlic, hummus, green delight, peas and carrots. <laughs> Make a poisoned apple that looks like a regular apple. <laughs> and then feed it to some un uneducated fool, I guess. Here. Eat this poison apple, you scum. Alright, let's uh let's take a look at this fireplace that I was talking about just a little bit ago. I believe we can see it right in here. Royal Furnace. No, we've got that. That's the Royal Forge. Um, it was a fireplace. Royal Fireplace. We should probably make one of those and see if that's something we could actually put in the bakery. And then one of you had a really nice idea about the shop next to the bakery would be the guy who does the, uh, like a butcher. So then we can put these dry racks out, the height stretcher and stuff like that. Maybe some of these other things out front and make that look, area look a little more primitive. That could be kind of fun. I think it would make it uh, look pretty interesting in there. 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and let's we'll take a look at that down below. Uh, we've got everything we need downstairs uh, where we're we're working right now. We don't have a whole lot of sun left. The sun is on its way out of here. Can't quite make out the apple tree from here. I was just checking to see if we got apples on it yet. I don't think we do. Uh, inventory. We are going to need more sticks and more timber. So let's just head on over to the lumber yard right now and fill up. Now the barbarians really love to uh, work over the palisade walls. They're still that's still ah, one of their favorite things to do, which I'm fine with them coming down here and doing that every now and again. I just walk around with a hammer. It takes about a, a minute to go see what kind of damage they've done and fix it, so it's no big deal. There we go, and we want some logs, like so. There we go. Inventory. Shift double click. We'll just get those going, and off we go. Now, as we go by, let's see how high that is. Yeah, see, look at that. That's starting to fill in that next street. You got a little door right there you can see. We've got some archwork going on up there that looks a little bit different, so it's good to have a variety of different structure going on with different decor, I, I think. I think so. Yeah, that's going to work. All right, let's go back on in here. We'll close that up. And we need our ramp G, uh, G whiz. There it is. And we're going to need another one. Might as well put this guy right here. There we go. G, we need our roof pieces right here. And I said wooden roofs, right? So we're going to go with that right there. Let's go number eight. go just use R to turn that around or Y sometimes it's Y we go with number six here yep and a number six here oh this is gonna be fantastic Fantastico. Can I reach that from here? Yeah. Nope. Won't give it to me, huh? Mmm. What about from right here? No. Alright, then what we need here is this guy. We're done with that guy right there. And then we're going to need this little peak right here, too. So let's go number eight. And we'll put that right there. And now we should be able to get over here and knock this into place just fine and dandy. There we go. And from here, we ought to be able to do all these guys from down here. Oh, my God. My hammer broke. Oh, my God. It's so embarrassing. My hammer broke, and I let it break, and I didn't notice it was getting bad. Yikes. Oh, forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Hammer time. It's okay. I got another one right in here. We can melt that sucker down. Got two hammers in there. I didn't realize I had two hammers in there. That's pretty crazy. I'm adding skulls to our claim block down here, too. I just keep adding them. <laughs> what is this doing here? <laughs> what is that wall doing there? I forgot to remove that. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> nobody, nobody has noticed that at all. That is funny. I don't care who you are, that's funny. There's a whole piece of wall sitting there doing nothing but floating in the air. Alright, so we got that going. Can I put another ramp? What about a roof piece of roofing here? Oh, there we go, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Just a way to get up here, right? Um, hmm. Ooh, boy, boy, boy. Okay, so no, that's not that's not gonna work. Um, I need to get up there. Let's go eight. Z. And then we're gonna need number seven next. Uh, I think I should be able to get up here this way. Oh boy. Uh, 
There we go. And we'll leave that there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, number eight. Uh, and then the seven. We've got to be very careful here. This might, this could kill us if we fell from here. Oh, there it is, right there. There we go. And now we're looking for the roofing. Z. There we go. Z. Okay. Uh, we're going to go right down here and just spin that around. We should be able to put these on from down up here. There we go. And one more. Um... Yeah, I don't think... It's not this one. It's not this one that we want. We want this guy right here. Z. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Awesome. Hopefully we've got enough to do this. Last time we did this, we, uh, we kind of got thrown across the map. <laughs> Hopefully that will not happen this time. And before we put this top piece in, let's go ahead and get these guys taken care of over here first. The lower ones. And then we'll get the top ones. Oh! Ooh. Close call. Looks like we're going to have enough material to do it. All right. This went together really quick. Inventory. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, and I can't turn them into sticks. No! No, I had it. I had it. I had it. That's going to hurt. A little bit. A little bit of pain. A little bit of pain. You, you're you not supposed to be here. No, you can stay. I like the little spruce tree. I'm just going to grab the sticks from right around here. Need to get rid of these guys. Otherwise, they grow up to be bigger trees. Oh, by the way, um forgot to mention this I've, I've got the uh, walkway that's leading up to the church monastery whatever up this way and then we'll continue from here that deer by the way has been running like that for about three hours now it just keeps running uh, we're gonna run this up this way and then we'll kind of put our monastery and stuff right up in this area right here so this will be the stairs that come up from the main main road and you enter through here and go up uh, we'll put we'll put some stairs in here right here and then you'll go up and climb up and then you'll be up into that that area there uh, Open I think we I think we might be able to put the rest of this together from downstairs here There we go and if we go up this way here, we should be able to knock these guys together Yeah, there we go Nice. Perfect. Awesome. Get this out of here. A little bit of rat clicking going on. Bam, there it is. It's all done. All right. Very simple structure for town. The bakery. Yeah, that, that's gonna work. Okay, perfect. All right, now let's let's go take a look at that um, that that royal fireplace. I think it, we needed a little bit of stone in order to do that, and the rest of it we should have in our inventory. Uh, let's just grab what we've got left in here. There we go. Let's take a look at the street from here right now. Get kind of an idea. Yeah, there we go. The stone at the bottom looks good. I like the fact that we got stone at the bottom, and it's not a super fancy building. It, it looks really nice. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a very basic structure. All right, let's go down here. We'll get a little funky maybe with the... Uh, oh, we need to go inside the uh, Royal Forge here. Uh, with the, uh, the, the butcher next door. 
All right, let's go in here. What's this take? Uh, some small stone and some dirt. We got plenty of that stuff around here. Um, we're going to do a lot more decorating on it next episode. So I got the stone. I need the metal parts and the sticks. So let's craft one of these and just see what it does when we place it. I'm curious. Does it have a chimney? Get rid of all this stuff on here. Let's go back this way. I'm trying to get to this before it gets too dark. Probably get a screenshot real quick, huh? So I've got a little something to show you guys prior to watching the episode. There we go. Beautiful. All right. And let's go up here. G. Let's see, number five. Okay, number five. Oh, I see. Pretty tiny, huh? <laughs> That's pretty tiny down there. I feel like this is almost sit up higher. I'm willing to bet there's some way to get this to sit up a little bit higher. It should have some kind of a grand base underneath it, I think. Can I not pick it up? Hmm. I don't like the way it looks either. Oh, maybe it's because I've got tab on. I'm not too uh, not too keen on that right there. Did I get it back? No, it broke it down into the parts, it looks like. Yeah, it sure did. Okay, so I didn't get that back. That's all right. No big deal. Uh, I don't think I'm too, uh, too fond on that. So what we can do is we'll put a couple of those bakery ovens in here, like maybe one, two right there on that side, and then uh, a little counter space, and then we've got our food storage, of course, downstairs here where we go downstairs and then we've got barrels and boxes with the food items and stuff like that and then you know back here we could even do is um, let's do something like this right here kind of a little closet a little bit of a closet right back in there add a few more things and then you got your street front entrance for the supplies to come in when the wheat is delivered it would go in through that direction there so there you go guys i uh, will light it up and we'll do a little decor work in the next episode and then kind of figure out what we're going to do with the next building the butcher shop which is going to be right next door i think that's pretty cool all right so if you enjoyed today's episode do hit that like button for me comment subscribe and share i'm the radio man zero three have an awesome fantastic and a superb day and i look forward to talking to you again next time